Okay, we're going to look at something that's called the triangle inequality. So there's a conjecture and it, it comes down, it, it's about, can I make a triangle using uh, different lengths of sides or segments? So I've got three segments here that I've pre-cut. Okay, uh, and we're gonna try to form a triangle using these three sides. We're gonna imagine that this one is not curved, I'm trying to straighten that out. All right, so if I have to connect them end to end, am I able to make a triangle out of these guys with these lengths? Looks like I can't, I'm not allowed to cut it here. I have to connect end to end. Another way to look at it is here. These three clearly do not make a triangle. So what I want to do is look at the lengths. It's about the lengths and how you're going to, you're going to be able to tell by the lengths of the segments. So if I measure this segment, it comes out to be 24 centimeters long. And this did not form a triangle. So if one side's 24, the other side measures two, and the third side measures four centimeters. Those do not make a triangle. Let's look at a different setup. We've done the blue. Let's look at our green triangles. So uh, green segments. Can we make a triangle with this guy? Uh, I can kind of connect them end to end and see if I can get it to form a triangle. Oh, it looks close. I kind of like taking that longest one and taking the, the, the two smaller sides and connecting to the ends of the longest one and kind of swinging them down almost like a tent and see if it if it works. It's not uh, almost, nope, it ends up laying flat. That does not make a triangle as well. It looked like it was going in there for a second, but it did not. So let's measure these sides. The first green one, the longest one is 27. Then we've got this guy in centimeters is 10. And the third guy is 17. So that didn't work either. All right, we're 0 for 2. Let's try again. Got a couple more to do here. Uh, let's try this yellow one. So I'm gonna take that, I think the way that I'm, I'm working this out is to take the longest one, connect the two smaller ones at either end and see if as I swing them down, they make, like I said, sort of like I think of it as a tent. These do form a triangle, finally. So we got one that works. Let's measure the centimeters, the length in centimeters of these guys. So I've got 14 centimeters. This is on the good side. We've got seven centimeters. And we've got about nine centimeters. That did make a triangle. Let's try again. This is good times. Let's go with our orange. If I connect them end to end to the longest, that does make a triangle. So we're good. That's we're two in a row now. We're on we're on fire. So we've got this one is ten centimeters long. This one is six centimeters long. And this one is six centimeters long. And that did make a triangle. Let's go for Mr. Zuka's favorite color, which I stole from him. It's now my favorite color, purple. Everything's purple, right? The book bag, everything. Can I make a triangle? If I connect those two smaller segments to the ends of the longest segment, yes, it does make a triangle. Another way to kind of think about this is, if you have the distance between two points, this is gonna be the distance, uh, the segment that connects those two points. If I have to go up here and then down, that's gonna <laughs> Is this thing still recording? It is. My eyes works out. Uh, so this one, the pink now, it does not work. So let's see what happens with those lengths. 
14, 7, and a 5. Did not work. All right, so those are the ones that work. The ones that don't work, you should be taking notes so you have those written down. Um, we've got three lengths, uh, three triangles that were formed and three that were not. So the question I'm going to ask you to consider is, can I make a triangle with segments of 6 centimeters, 8 centimeters, and 20 centimeters? And more importantly, how do you know? That's the, that's the real important one that we're going to discuss in class. To get full credit on your homework, you need to have notes and also you need to have answers to both of these questions.